Alright guys, so I know some of you guys are seeing this title, Subject Verb Agreement, and saying, wait, that's like something we did in elementary school. Trust me, on the PSAT, SAT, and ACT, these show up in ways that are super tricky. So if you get these concepts down, you're gonna do so much better. Let's get into it. The way that these test questions are made more difficult is by putting a lot of verbiage between your subject and your verb. So this one says, forest fires which move faster uphill than downhill has positive effects on the environment in places such as the Florida Everglades. So because downhill is right next to has, sometimes people look at this and say, oh, okay, it must be fine. But that is not the subject. What's the subject? The subject is forest fires. So again, let's take our subject, put it right next to the verb, and cross out everything in between. Forest fires has positive effects? No, it's gotta be forest fires have positive effects. Which answer choice gives us that? Answer choice C. So remember, always you take your subject, put it right next to the verb, no matter how much information is in between. All right guys, thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to share this channel with other people and definitely hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so you know when new videos are coming. Thank you guys, peace.